share that because we only know what this vessel interacts with. Our own personal subjective identity is limited to ourselves. Right. And uh, there's no problem with that. That's how it is. But thanks to technology, we can take things a step further and we can share our lives. Even if it's just audio, just visuals, we can share more than we've ever been able to. That's we can, we can transcend true. language, yes. finally. Yes. We're getting to this point. Hey, the other beautiful musicians that came and gone before me, man, them motherfuckers are bad ass. You're making a beat though. You're making a beat though. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're making a beat though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's dude. about, baby. What's You're making a beat too, man. You have fun. Uh, Alright, you ready? You ready? Play something right now. I'll stand right here. You ready? Listen to you play Sweet Caroline. Bop, bop, bop. Good times never seem so good. <laughs> Tony, can you do me a favor? What up, bro? Is something wrong with this? <clears throat> Blow, try it. Man, I played a clarinet in fourth grade. No, but I mean, you know how to make it sound. Because I used to, and now I can't. I don't know if it's broken or it's me. Man, this thing is very hard to play. The one, the reed's got to be really wet. So all the way through, otherwise it's going to be a lot harder to play. I just know that... Dry. Is it too dry right now? Yeah, it's bone dry. Because, like, I mean, like... I've gone through for the last so like started. for the last year I've gone through the same shit to play it and now I can't make it sound suddenly. Soak it in warm water. There's a, in the bathroom get get a cup of water, just soak it in there. You think that's the main thing? That's one of that's one that'll make it a whole lot harder to play. It's bone dry. If, okay. If y'all was drunk, I would make him call me a ah. <laughs> Hey man, fuck up man. <laughs> you I'm <laughs> 
all messed up, you can call for this shit? <laughs> Wait, you make me call you uh, a nigga? <laughs> How can a place be a bad word? Like, our fucking, most of the slaves came from Niger and Angola. If you from Niger, then you a nigga, right? Sure. So, I so, 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 see, how, I said, how can a place be a bad word? <laughs> so, every night, I make Australians, Canadians, and Europeans call me a nigga. Are, are you saying you wouldn't be offended if I said nigga? No, what I'm saying is, you better call me a nigga unless you're fucking racist. Because nigga. my nigga in this bitch. Now I'm mean, a real right. nigga tip. Yeah. Hey, I've always been with you there. I think it's empowering the bullshit no, by no, no, not no, no, saying no. that shit. No, it's, it's simple. How can a place be a bad word? Uh, yeah, if, you're right. If, <laughs> if, if you can't say nigga, then, then I can't say Louisiana. Like fucking Hunter S. Out of the ether. Hunter S. <laughs> Hunter S. Thompson? <laughs> Fuck you, me. Fuck you, me. You see Hey, man, I fight both of y'all, man. Fuck you. Like, I'm at the front now. I'm gonna be fucking warm up, man. I ain't fucking with y'all like that, man. I don't know what's going on here, man. It's not about to hear racist, man. For real. I don't know what's going on, man. This motherfucker here getting my shit with goddamn. Why does your shit say some shit about the sun and shit on your glasses? Ain't no sun out here. You fucking racist ass motherfucker. I want to share my perspective. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see others' perspectives and I want to share my own. Um, so you get to see it from straight from my third eye.
you know, the only thing that, that technology like that does, Google Glass does, it allows you to do different things simultaneously. So you can continue doing what you're doing, but you can share with other people at the same time. You know, capturing that in those moments you would never, never normally be able to capture. Well, when I, well, if that if that moment it involves other people, you right. know, and you know, oh, you have a fucking camera on your head, right. you know, like right. it, it affects right. that. But like with the pair of glasses, even if you know subconsciously or whatever that there's a camera in there, you're not thinking about that That's consciously. Right. Yeah, it's like oh, you're you know staring yeah. at me with a computer yeah. screen. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, I was I always said that there would be a, there would be sort of a interesting explosion of. Uh, People sharing their lives, and other um, people just sort of tuning in to, to experience that life, and whatever they were doing. People are into it. People are into it. That's yeah. why I'm doing this, because I think I live a cool life anyway. But even if you don't live a cool life, it's interesting to people to right. watch your life. It's always. Yeah. And it's a perspective from it. People get to like watch you do whatever you do, and what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I heard like half of this and I'm like, what's going on? So I'm starting a project where I wear this on my head all the time yeah. and then I put like, every week I put a bunch of highlights together and put it on YouTube. So you kind of get to see the highlights, not the highlights, but whatever, yeah, of my week <laughs> from like pretty much my eyes, yeah. you know? Right. But I was telling him that with, with like Google Glass, where you have the glass, you have the glasses, that I can easily see um, sites where people will be connected to people's lives and they will kind of wear this and transmit this full time and people can tune in at any moment to see whatever they're doing mm -hmm. in their life when they're bored. Not rationalizing, not hiding, not thinking about it, not escaping, but actually just opening up to what it is. Yes. We are a unique species in the sense that we are never comfortable. Something can always bother us. Oh. Something will always get to us as and enlightened, as zen and peaceful as we can That's get, as truth. we all feel it. That's the truth. The moment in time is just the moment in time. And uh, it changes with the weather, it changes with us, it changes with the moon, it changes with every little molecule of matter transitioning their own. Over there, I had like a deja vu that I had. I've seen this before. Mm. And that it's kind of like, wait, it's like, and we stopped it, we stopped for a moment and then we got the goosebumps. So everything is really, it's like recorded. Even we record recording this situation, it's recorded in our soul. Sure. Okay. It's soul making. And that's when I first looked at you. When I first looked at you, when you first came in there, it was like this, I said a, a familiarity.